All right, Jimmy Brown, the newsboy. So it's an old Carter family tune. Uh, I learned it from Platt and Scruggs, uh, Earl Scruggs playing the guitar, who's a very good guitar player, by the way. Um, so I'm doing it Carter style with my thumb and fingers. You can certainly play it with a flat pick as well. and bolts of what's going on here. So we're in, I'm capoed four, I just like it, it's sweet sounding up here. Um, you can do it with no capo if you want. So we start with a C chord, we play the fifth string, strum, then hammer second uh, onto the second fret of the fourth string. Same on the G string. Now the trick is when you get to that G string, I'm keeping that finger down when I strum that chord, so it's this C sixth chord, if you will. And then it's open G, so that's the lick in C. Now, some of you might find that when you do this, you're going to get that because this finger is muting it. So you have two choices. You can arch your fingers more to get them out of the way. Or you can simply remove this finger and just play only the first four strings. So that requires a little more accuracy on your right hand, but I think... It's always an option. And then it goes. So now we're going from a C to a G7. So we're on the C chord, D string, second fret, and then third fret, second, open, and now you're on a G7. So here's what we have so far. G chord, but or G seventh chord, I should say, on the second, on the A string, hammering onto the second fret, and then the G lick goes. So, so that's holding the G chord, G seventh chord. You play the sixth on the third fret, and I'm coming up with the strum in between each one. Second fret, open D, second fret, D, third fret, D, back to the second fret, open. It's almost like a, a bluesy or a boogie woogie. Second fret, pull off to open, and then go to the second fret of the A string, and that gets you back up to the third fret for the C. So here's the second half starting with the G seventh. notice is there's a little change in the rhythm when it goes. You're doing all these melody notes with an upstroke. After that last
last one, that open D string. And I wait and just do a downstroke. That kind of gets me back to the regular rhythm. All right, so the whole thing through one time. It's, it's a short little, it's just two chords. It's a fun little piece. So three, four. A little extras if you want to try them if you get this down. You can hammer onto that instead of going. You can go. So you're on the G. playing this G string, slide three to five above the capo on the D string. So once you're on the fifth, that's the same as that G note. And when you're up there, that G, or if you play it open, it goes by so quickly nobody will really know. And again, flat picking is fine. picking that upstroke is going to be tougher so you can either ignore it or just go when you're coming up you really just want a few strings you don't want to try to go it's just going to be too messy and too difficult and not sound good Good luck, enjoy.